Hello everyone. I hope you have watched my previous video on single strip design. Today I am going to explain you lump matching network. Uh, basically, we design lump matching network to get the maximum output power at the load side. Uh, these are designed using passive elements, which are inductance and capacitance. Uh, now, for designing that, you need to understand some of the formulas of it, which is as shown over here. Consider this is the axis point of Smith chart. And uh, okay, consider this as Z series, and this is Y shunt or parallel. Parallel. Okay. So uh, we are studying it because we need to map the load impedance onto the Z is equal to one point on the Smith chart. So there can be different paths. So as we are studying over it, uh, when we move upwards on the Z side, we get series inductance. When we when we move downwards on the Z side, we get series capacitance. When we move upwards on the Y Y chart, we get shunt inductance, and when we move downwards, we get parallel capacitance okay basically we design it and we need to find the values of l and c so that that is given by formula series shunt element Okay. This is the formula for calculating the series inductance and series capacitance. For getting the shunt inductance and shunt capacitance, just reciprocal the formula from here. So numerator will become this, and this completely will come in numerator part. Okay. That is the that is the basic explanation for uh, formulas and concepts. Now we consider a sum. Okay. Now we need to remember one point over here is in lump matching network frequency will always be given. If it is not given, you need to consider it either one gigahertz or two gigahertz. Basically, always consider as one gigahertz. Okay. The sum over here is given as we need to design lump matching network for load impedance 100 plus 100J in 50 ohm system at 3 gigahertz frequency. Okay, we have the load impedance. We have the characteristics impedance. Now we calculate the normalized impedance, which is small ZL, which is 2 plus 2J. Now, yeah, okay. Now we need to plot it on the Smith chart. Uh, 2 plus 2j is somewhere over here which is small zl okay after that now uh, as it is uh, normal so this will be open circuit infinity point and this will be short circuit zero point okay standard z circle over here is Z is equal to one circle, which is the unitary circle. But uh, we need the help of Y elements also. So for that, we draw Y circle. Y is equal to one circle, which is drawn by. We take the point ZL. We take the point to the short circuit. We draw it using a dotted line. Okay. Now we will take the perpendicular bisector of this. More than half. One arc over here. One arc over here. From here. One arc over here. One arc over here. Uh, 
रिमेंबर दैट वेन एवर यू ड्रॉ दिस सर्कल ड्रॉ इट लाइट बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ लम मैचिंग नेटवर्क वी आर ड्रॉइंग इट फॉर योर रेफरेंस सो आई एम ड्रॉइंग इट विथ लाइट लाइट पर्टिकुलर बायसेक्टर वी नीड टू चेक वेर इट कट्स द रियल एक्सिस सो इट कट्स समवेयर ओवर यर दिस पॉइंट दैट इज द सेंटर सेंटर ऑफ द वाय सर्कल सो आई टेक दिस पॉइंट ना ड्रॉ अ सर्कल नाउ दिस सर्कल इज वाय सर्कल ओके नाउ वी नीड टू मैप जेड एल टू जेड इज इक्वल टू वन दैट कैन बी डन इन टू पार्ट्स वी मूव जेड एल अपर्ड्स एंड चेक वेर द वाय एंड यूनिटरी कट्स वी गेट दिस पॉइंट दैट कैन दैट इज वन पार्ट वी से एज ए एंड देन वी कम डाउन सो वी ड्रॉ दिस this is first part and the second part is second part is from here downwards it cuts y y cuts unitary over here that is b and then it moves upwards on z is equal to 1 so i dark it that is the second part first and second part okay now now we need to check it using the formula okay we consider the first part which is this so we move zl in upwards direction in y circle because this circle is y circle so moving in upward direction y gives parallel inductance which is okay so now we are over here and we move downwards in z is equal to one circle unitary circle so when we come down in z we get a series capacitance so this is series capacitance okay this is done for the first part you need to calculate the values of l and c for second part we move downwards in y circle moving downwards in y gives parallel capacitance okay and then we are at b we move upwards in z is equal to one circle which gives us z is equal to one circle upwards which gives us series inductance okay this is done now we need to calculate the values of l and c which is done over here path which is from uh, zl to a to z0 we need to calculate all the points over here zl a this and b okay zl is given by 2 plus 2 j so y l will be reciprocal of it after that z a z a is given by over here it is 1 plus 1.7 j 1 plus 1.7 j and z0 is known 1 okay we need to calculate the y parameters we recipro recipro reciprocal we take the reciprocal using calc in complex mode so we have 2 plus 2 j inverse which will give 0.25 plus 0.25 j Minus point two five j, okay. Similarly for y a, one plus one point seven j inverse, one plus 
वन प्लस सेवन जो इनवर्स वी गेट पॉइंट टू फाइव माइनस पॉइंट फोर थ्री जे एंड रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ वन इज वन ओके दिस इज डन सो इन फर्स्ट केस वी मूव फ्रॉम जेड एल टू ए इन वाई सर्कल सो दैट इज टेकन एज डेल वाई वाई एल माइनस वाई ए बट दिस इज इनिशियल पॉइंट एंड दिस इज फाइनल पॉइंट फॉर गेटिंग रिड ऑफ माइनस साइन यू टेक वाई ए माइनस वाई एल इट विल जस्ट सिंप्लीफाई योर कैलकुलेशन सो वाई पॉइंट इज पॉइंट टू फाइव माइनस पॉइंट फोर थ्री जे माइनस वाई एल पॉइंट टू फाइव माइनस पॉइंट टू फाइव जे विच इज डन वी गेट माइनस जे जीरो पॉइंट वन एट डेल वाई नाउ डेल वाई रिप्रेजेंट्स पैरल इंडक्टन्स सो फॉर दैट वी हैव फॉर्मूला इंडक्टन्स एंड पैरल दिस विल गिव मी द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एल विच इज जेड जीरो अपॉन जे ओमेगा एल इज इक्वल टू माइनस जे जीरो पॉइंट वन एट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट एल वी कैलकुलेट इट माइनस जे जीरो पॉइंट वन एट इन टू वी टेक एल ओवर योर जे ओमेगा दिस इज वन बाय एल एंड जेड जीरो सो एल वी गेट इज जेड जीरो अपॉन माइनस जे स्क्वायर जीरो पॉइंट वन एट ओमेगा वी हैव फ्रिक्वेंसी थ्री गी का हर्स ओमेगा इज टू पाई एफ आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग वी गेट फोर्टीन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री नाइनो हेनरी ओके नाउ वी आर डन विथ इंडक्ट इंडक्ट फॉर सेकेंड पार्ट इट मूव फ्रॉम ए टू जेड जीरो इन जेड इज इक्वल टू वन सर्कल सो जेड इज इक्वल टू वन दैट मीन्स इट विल बी डेल जेड फ्रॉम जेड ए माइनस जेड जीरो फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी वी यूज जेड जीरो माइनस जेड ए वेर जेड जीरो इज वन एंड जेड ए इज माइनस वन प्लस वन पॉइंट सेवन जे वी गेट माइनस वन पॉइंट सेवन जे ओके as it is moving downwards in z so formula for that will be and it is series capacitance so series capacitance downwards will give me this 1 upon j omega c z0 so del z will be 1 upon c j omega z0 we need to calculate the value of c therefore c will be given by 1 upon minus 1.7 j into J omega z zero, which will give me approximate zero point six zero six picofarads. Okay, this is done. After that, now you have value of L and C, so you need to draw the final circuit. This is Z L, hundred plus hundred J. Okay, <coughs> the first part. first path is parallel inductance and after that series capacitance over here after that we get z is equal to 1 so this is source okay this is c this is l where c is 0.606 picofarads and l is 14.73 nano henry this is the final lum matching network now i have done method 1 similarly you can do method 2 from zl from downward parts to here uh after you solve it uh, you will get different values for c and l nothing to worry about that both of the method will be correct okay hope you like it don't forget to like my video share my video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you have any problem you can comment below i'll 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 be helpful to assist you thank you